Hey everyone, welcome to the next level dev channel. Uh, it's me, Elder, and today we're talking about Code Igniter and PHP Unit. So let's get started. Like I said, we will be using Code Igniter 3 and PHP Unit. I am assuming that you already have a Code Igniter project uh, running. We do have one here, it's running. Welcome to Code Igniter, and we will work with this one. But before doing everything, we first need to check what is our PHP version so we know exactly which PHP unit version to install. I have PHP 7, which means that I'll probably need PHP unit 6. So let's go to the PHP unit website and verify the versions they have available. They have from 8 to 4. And again, check your version before installing. Uh, we're going to use PHP Unit 6, which is the one that works with PHP 7. So let's copy the composer command and run that in our application directory, which is what I'm doing right now. Copy, come here to my project folder, which is the folder where I have composer JSON. Uh, and then I'll paste that composer command and I'll run it. and Let's see what's going to happen. Well, we have a warning which we are going to ignore. It's because I have the latest version of Composer. And great, if you check the last one, package install, that's PHP unit. So now we're just going to verify if it's here. Go to your vendor folder, PHP units right there. And just to make sure, we're going to our command line and check the version of PHP unit. So you use vendor bin PHP unit version. And there it is. So I think we are all set for now. The next step is to set up CI PHP unit test. But before doing that, we have to create a tests folder inside our application folder, which is what I'm doing right now. Okay, folder created. Let's go back to CI PHP unit test. And then I don't recommend installing through Composer. It broke my projects before. Let's skip that. Instead, let's download the latest CI PHP unit and install manually. So I'm going to the latest releases here. And I already downloaded the latest one. I just placed in a random folder. And then I will unzip this folder that I just downloaded with CI PHP unit test. And one thing to pay attention is that you only need the content inside application and tests. So you can ignore all the rest of the package. Just go to the test folder, copy all the content, go to your test folder in your project and paste all the content. It's pasting and let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, it finished pasting and inside the folder, we're going to have all the CI PHP unit test configuration files. So let's try to run PHP unit inside the folder because you actually need to enter the test folder to run it. So there you go, vendor being PHP unit and bam, what are the results? We do have three tests, which are the three files that come with PHP unit, but we're going to create a new one with our own test. So let's create a class called welcome test where we'll basically check the welcome content for the first page. Uh, I'm going to copy and paste my own code that I wrote before. And basically we have here a test index function. Uh, PHP unit will know it's a test because of the prefix of the function, or you can use the annotation test. It, it's up to your own discretion. So I like to use the test prefix on the function. And what is this is doing? It's basically sending a get request to controller welcome and to the function index in our controller. So the function really just returns uh, the view welcome message, which is the first code igniter view. It's the one that says code igniter. Here, here it is. The whole HTML is very simple. So what our test, our test function is doing right now, it's grabbing this page the welcome to code igniter by using the request uh, and grabbing this output and trying to verify if this output has welcome to code igniter. 
If it has, then our test will pass. And that's the first test we're doing right now. Back to the command line, let's run PHP unit inside the test folder and our file, welcome test. And as you can see, it did work, it did run and the test passed. What we can do is try to change this information to something random such as the next level dev and try to run our tests once again. And this time around, it fails. So there you have it. You have everything you need to write your own tests. Uh, just make sure you go to the PHP unit website and check their documentation, see how to write the tests that you want. But that's it. Uh, thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, leave your question in the comments and have a good day. Bye bye.